Hi everyone, on this topic, I will talk about how to use a Delta PLC Mobus TCP link with a Mitsubishi FX5U. System architecture, I will use a ASPLC, DVPPLC, uh, and uh, FX5U. And the IP address for AX will be 0.1.5, DVP 0.1.6, and uh, FX5U 0.1.7. And you can see this is the Mobus address uh, for FX5U. So, uh, 2000 hex uh, means uh, M0 and uh, D0 will equal to uh, 0 uh, hex decimal. Now we move to the Mitsubishi FX5U GX Work 3 setting. So first we uh, double click the Ethernet port and then define IP address to 0.1.7 and then go to the external device uh, configuration. So you will see this one will pop up this and then we select the mobile TCP and add on this one to the network of FX5U and remember to define the port number as, as uh, 502 and this is uh, today's uh, testing program so basically uh, we will use M0 to uh, increase the count of uh, D100 and then once uh, we detect the D0 is not equal to 0 and this one will in increase the count of uh, D101 of uh, FX5U. Uh, now we move to the DBP POC and the SPOC uh, setting. So first one I will show you the SPOC based on the data exchange function but uh, what I will show the uh, slightly different here I will use the program control. So program control that means we'll go through the spatial flag uh, to control the data exchange function instead of uh, when POC on or uh, always enable. So you will see uh, once I tick the enable of uh, these two, that means uh, SM1168 and uh, SM1169, uh, later the status will be on. But uh, this one uh, I did not enable, so later we might need to, uh, we have to enable the SM1167. Then we go to the details, so here we will assign the FX5U IP address, then we select the standard MOBUS device. And then the red color means uh, the device uh, inside SPOC and the blue color means the fx u portion. So here we just uh, write the D0 from uh, SPOC to D0 of fx u and this one we put 0 means uh, no data exchange and here we put 10. So for the second one uh, we define We'll, uh, ASPOC D100 will get the status from uh, FX5U D100 so the mobile address is uh, 64 and we get uh, 10 device then we will write the uh, M0 uh, from ASPOC to FX5U M0 so here we'll use the 2000 so you can see uh, this is the data exchange table uh, content and we assign uh, write only one uh, for DBPPLC actually you can uh, use uh, the same method for data exchange function but uh, I will show uh, not a second method so that means we will use the Ethernet rewrite command so first one you have to define the IP address of uh, Mitsubishi PLC so this one is uh, uh, we define the 192.168.1.7 in over here and the second one uh, sorry the third parameters would be the port number and if you use other same type POC then uh, you can add on the uh, Ethernet uh, module so here will based on the Ethernet module that you add on and if you use the SE series uh, or uh, ES2-E or the EH3 with the function card then just change the port number to uh, 108 okay so this one is a uh, very important if you use uh, this function and then uh, we define the uh, node ID of uh, uh, select device and then you can define the function that you want to use and today we just use a uh, 6 that means uh, write a single word so here we define uh, all these parameters in the do, uh, D200 and then uh, write to uh, D100 of FX5U okay then write only one device and then we will switch to the software part so here uh, we click the Ethernet port settings and this one already mentioned 
So we just find the external device settings configuration. Click this one and uh, add on the Mobus TCP from here. Okay, and then uh, define the file too. Okay, and remember if you just set the first time, please uh, remember to click apply. And then uh, we can download the settings to uh, Mitsubishi PLC. Okay, so remember to uh, switch the status. And now we'll move to the Delta uh, POC. So basically, you can see here we uh, use the empty program, but we need to go to the hardware config uh, to do some uh, basic settings. So this one actually already mentioned, so I won't uh, repeat again. So we just uh, download the settings. Okay, so now we will switch here and uh, go online mode. Then uh, we can also uh, okay. device monitor table. So first one we will show you uh, write the status uh, from ASPOC M0 to uh, Mitsubishi FX5U M0. So now we can uh, Okay, so we, we should switch online first and here uh, set down but you will see the value actually did not write over here because we did not turn on the data exchange function but you see uh, this one actually still not count so uh, please uh, go to check this one again so we might need a uh, uh, this oh uh, sorry off and on the uh, spatial flag uh, one time okay so now uh, we can change the status and on again so you will see now it will count and turn off okay this is the first function I want to demonstrate second one is uh, we will write the D0 from here so now okay we write the value 2 but again you see here actually did not uh, receive to turn off and turn on a uh, special flag so you now you can see this one will count 1 so actually uh, if you use the special flag to control would be a bit of uh, uh, complicated compared with uh, if you use a POC run or always enable and you can actually uh, implement the same method on the DBP POC uh, with uh, Ethernet we switch to DBP POC parts and uh, actually I use a uh, DBP SA2 plus uh, EN01 instead of uh, SE so if you use SE uh, remember to modify this port number to 108 but because I use the SA2, so I use a 100 uh, because only one um, Ethernet module and this one is for the IP parts. Then uh, we define one and this is the function 6. Function 6 means uh, write a single word. And then uh, I will use the Ethernet rewrite command. So we use the parameters uh, D200 means well, all this information about. Then we will write uh, to D100. Uh, I'll write only one uh, word and then we can define the value uh, 123 okay and before uh, we do this test uh, please uh, remember to switch the ASPOC status to uh, zero otherwise uh, it, the data exchange function will occupy so we switch our uh, ASPOC status to off and then uh, trigger this command and okay so you can see now change to 123 and again we can change the value to two, 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 two. okay so you can see uh, it become two 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 uh, so that's all for uh, today's topic so hope you can uh, understand more about how to use a delta plc mobile tcp function thank you